But you haven't always been a farmer, have you? Your bag. It's colonial medical use. Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome in once again. Today we're going to do a short little video on a short little knife that uh, there's really not a lot to talk about here because it's not a very uh, technical knife. Obviously, it's not a folder, so there's no you know, lock to talk about or action or anything else. But I wanted to make people aware of just how friggin' slick this little Hurricane Razor 2049 is. Now, this is made by Robert Amsler of Amsler Knives. And the cool thing about this is this is... Well, if you happen to be a sci-fi fan, then you already know the movie, uh, Blade Runner 2049, which was absolutely amazing and one of the very few times that a sequel was as good or some may consider it to be better than the original. And I had already loved the movie. And the, the funny thing is I didn't really catch this on the first viewing, but this, uh, this was actually used in the movie. Uh, Amsler did design this to be used in the film. And mine is mostly movie accurate. The difference is in the movie version, it has a regular stand clip and mine has the laser engraved clip, which I'll show you here close up in a minute. Uh, but what the uh, Hurricane Razor 2049 is, is basically a small scalpel. And there may not be a lot of practical use in your life for a scalpel, but once you've got one, I think you'll actually really, really enjoy it. Whether it be for a letter opener, a box opener, you work in an office and you want something cool to have on your desk that you can use to open shit up with, um, or just a really small, slender, lightweight, easy way to carry a cutting tool. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll carry this in my opposite pocket, and uh, I've noticed a lot of people doing this lately, so I'll, I'll do it as well. The pocket check for today um, is the EDC, EMP EDC uh, Nimble, which I'm still loving the absolute shit out of. I love the, uh, the multiple deployment methods on it. But as you can see, it takes up almost no room in the pocket as compared to a standard folder. So what I'll do is I'll carry my folder in my standard right-hand pocket, and I'll often carry this one in the left-hand pocket, even if I'm carrying a flashlight over there, because it takes up so little room. And the fact that you've got the pocket clip on here does make this extremely versatile. I think if you were just dropping this into your pocket, you may not want to carry it quite as often because it would fall over and you'd have to fish around for it. And, you know, it could get knocked around with other things that are in your pocket. Uh, but with this, you've got the Kydex clip-on sheath, which all you've got to do is just simply uh, take it off very, very easily. And the pocket clip is attached directly to the scalpel. Um, and I am referring to it as a scalpel instead of a razor because it really does have the shape and profile of a scalpel. Uh, even down to where he put the rubber O-rings, which you do get extras and you can uh, put them in different various positions. He has the uh, blade nut or the handle notched out for different positions. But it works really well for me uh, where they're at. It is wonderfully sharp. It's got a really nice edge on it. He does a nice little mirror polish on the edge and the uh, sweep up into the tip of the blade. And for what would normally be a very, very delicate tool, he has actually beefed up the tip where it's got a lot of support to it. I mean, you're not really going to want to be stabbing into things with this because your hand could slide up. There's no finger guard or anything. Um, but you do have a pretty reinforced tip for something that's as slim and, uh, and small as this is. So I'm not going to bother uh, spending a lot of time here on the intro. We'll get straight into, uh, into the review and, and take a look at it close up and see what you guys think of it. Honestly, I think for the money, it is, it's an absolute necessity to add to any growing collection if you're looking for something interesting. Something different, a nice conversation piece, and something that I think that you'll actually find use for. These things really are fantastic. If you're doing a custom order with Robert, um, I think it's only like a two or three week wait, so not very long at all. Uh, but if you order off his big cartel store, he almost always has something available. And he doesn't make just the Hurricane Razors. He makes different sizes of these. 
a ton of different finishes from splash Sarah coats to uh, stone washes and satin. You can get Timascus clips. There's a lot of different options, but he makes bottle openers and other knives and other cool things too. So it's always worth checking out his store to see what's available. Now, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe, all that good shit. Uh, listen, YouTube has been suppressing the living hell out of me. I've been getting a lot of messages from people lately going, oh, I haven't seen you upload in a while. I'm like, no, I've been uploading consistently for months. I guess YouTube just isn't showing you. And they're like, yeah, uh, now that I go look, I see I've missed about 12 videos. So, yeah, it does really help if you click like on the videos that you like and if you are subscribed. That is a big deal. Um, the other thing is, uh, if you want to help support the channel, and I would absolutely love it if you did, uh, please do join my Patreon. Thank you to all my Patreon members that are allowing me uh, to get more and more knives in on a consistent basis to bring in here in review. And, of course, if you're a Patreon member, you get the opportunity to win, to win really cool stuff as well. So you can just join my Patreon right down there and uh, for as little as five bucks a month you're entered into all the cool giveaways that I'm doing and that's about it for the intro let's get into some photography and some close-up looks and see if you guys think this is as friggin slick as I do Okay, as I mentioned, this isn't going to be a very long video because there's not a lot of detail to really get into here. We're not talking about, you know, flickability and action and lockup and all that kind of neat stuff because, you know, basically you're just looking at a small fixed blade. Uh, but I did want to give you some close-up looks at this to maybe help you understand why you might want to have something like this in your collection if you've never looked at anything like this. You may be only looking at practical knives, fixed blades and folders that are going to perform a certain task. But I think there is uh, absolutely room in your collection for something like this. Uh, you know, maybe it's just for the cool factor, or maybe it's because, well, it's uh, something that you will find a use for. The craftsmanship, these are all made by hand, the craftsmanship is fantastic. The weight and balance of it is also fantastic. This is a really easy uh, EDC item to carry on you every single day. As I mentioned, you've got the very simple Kydex sheath that just covers the blade portion. You've got all this handle sticking out. You've got the pocket clip so you can carry it just like your folders and stick it in any number of pockets that you've got or stick it wherever the hell you want. Um, I don't really know uh, Robert Amsler all that well. We've you know chatted a couple of times in, uh, in messages in basically just about the uh these these specific little knives and uh he seems to be a really personable super nice guy and uh i know he's done a lot and i mean a lot of different variants a lot of really cool uh custom variations on this theme so if you're looking for something wilder if you're looking for something basic if you're looking for something colorful you want blood spatter you want toxic green and you know whatever there's so many options that he makes available all the time as well as taking custom orders like i had mentioned before so what's the basic idea here so this entire thing is cpms 35 vn I'm certain that he has and will continue to use different steels, but this one is S35VN, as are his current offerings at the time that I'm recording this. Um, it's 5 30 seconds of an inch thick. The uh, the blade edge is 1 and 5 eighths of an inch, which, yeah, that's not a lot, but again, this is not a giant fixed blade. It's not a big folder. Um, this is going to be great for, you know, cutting paracord or slicing into a USPS priority box or cutting down a little piece of cardboard or something. 
it just works for all the little smaller tasks that you have. Um, he does heat treat through Boz heat treat, which is going to be, you know, super phenomenal. Boz and Peters really are your leaders in heat treating. And he's got these hardened up to 60 on the Rockwell scale of hardness. Uh, you got a titanium clip, titanium hardware. Um, these are T8 torques. So if you ever need to change them out for whatever reason or make adjustments, it's just a simple T8. You get the Kydex sheath, you get extra O-rings, and uh, you get a little Weeha Torx wrench provided in the uh, the packaging that he includes. And I apologize, I don't have the packaging sitting out here. I've had this for months, and I really don't even know where I put the packaging. But uh, nice little package. You're looking under $200, around $175, $180 for the more basic variations. If you start getting fancier with Cerakote or DLC, like an all blacked out DLC version, or you want a, a Timascus clip or something like that, anodized clips, you know, the price is going to go up from there. So keep that in mind. But uh, for a, a really interesting, different type of carry, I think that a lot of people are going to fall in love with this thing. There is the, uh, the, the laser etched pocket clip that I have on mine. All the bevels on here, all the finishing look fantastic. It feels good in the hand. I mean, there's nothing, again, this is not a hard use knife, so you're not really too worried if you have a little, you know, a little sharp edge here or there. There's nothing that's going to prevent you from being able to use it for its intended purpose. Great polish on that edge. Nice and pretty looking. Really cool grind. And it is V-ground. It's not, uh, it's going to have the, uh, the grinds on both sides, the bevels on both sides. Mine might be a little bit dirty just from carrying in the pocket. Um, this would be a great little boot knife. It'd be great to go on your backpack if you have an EDC backpack. Nice little backup. Like I said, I like to carry it in my left-hand pocket where my flashlight normally is. It could sit next to the flashlight if need be. Um, doesn't get in the way. It's a really good size. He does make a mini. Uh, if you want something that's a little bit smaller, he does make a mini version, which I believe uh, would be about yay long in overall length. Yay long, that is an official uh, term of measurement, by the way, in case you didn't know that. So, super cool. Little uh, little EDC scalpel for those of you looking for something different to add to your collection. You know, we all like different little things sometimes. Maybe it's a titanium spike. Maybe it's a, a Sharpie with a spike in it. This, I think, has, it has a very high-end feel to it, even though it's not very expensive, even though it's not very fancy. Uh, you can see how the light is highlighting the bevels on there against the flats. There's something super cool about this. That if this is what you're into, you just want an, an interesting little instrument to carry for EDC, that's going to be a great little conversation starter. You share that to one of your buddies and put it in their hand, they're going to go, dude, I friggin' need to have one of these. And that's what this is. It's a, it's something that calls to your inner child. It's just something cool to have. It's also useful. It, it will have a place in your rotation you will have little cutting tasks that this will be perfect for. So it's not a useless cool thing. It's just a it's a cool thing that has a little bit of use. Um, I do believe that the pocket clip is reversible. I'm going to imagine that it is. I'm sure the threading goes all the way through there. I haven't tried it because uh, it, it's never bothered me to carry it backwards in my left pocket. Um, the times I've carried it in my right pocket or in my back pocket, obviously it's already at the orientation I want it at. Um, so it's, it's never been a thing for me, but I, I do believe it is reversible just by looking at it with the holes going all the way through. So there's your close up look at it. Uh, number one, it's, it's a cool little instrument to have, but number two, um, I am a huge, 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 huge fan of the movie. So to see it being used in that fight scene, to actually see it showcased as well as it was, I get to go, hey man, that's a, that's a movie I friggin' love and I've got something that was used in the movie. That's kind of neat. So uh, if you want something that's a little bit different than what all your friends have, you want to have a nice little conversation piece and have something that 
If you do want to use it, there are no real limitations. It works extraordinarily well. I think you're going to be super happy with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. I'll try to get back with uh, some extra videos very, very quickly as soon as I possibly can. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.